we have seen a water drop or any liquid drop there is liquid inside it and there is air outside it or a different medium and this is a spherical shape in this spherical shape the surface interface between air and liquid this surface all the molecules on the surface are trying to decrease the area of the surface and they are trying to close together if they are just attracting each other trying to make the surface smaller then they are pressing like this and if they press like this inside the pressure increase so in a drop the pressure inside this pressure inside and the pressure outside pressure inside is always more than pressure outside this inside is what inside means if you see it from inside this is concave if you see it from outside it is convex so which side the pressure is more the pressure is more always on concave side concave is always more than pressure on convex side here so if we take two points here this p1 p2 then p2 is larger than p1 this so there is always a pressure difference inside and outside the drop because the surface is always trying to contract this is the reason now we want to calculate how much is the pressure difference in and how it is related to surface tension so i make one surface here this is the surface to calculate we have a process let us increase this surface a little to this level it is a very small difference i am just making it larger for convenience of calculation this radius is r and we have pushed it to dr so how much is the total radius now it is r plus dr okay now okay this is the process we have done now when we are increasing the size of the surface we have to do certain work and that increases the surface energy we have done some work the work done by this is calculated by two methods one method involve pressure other method involve surface tension so when we calculate one quantity by two methods then the equation help us to find out unknown quantities that is what we are going to do here so a surface of liquid drop work done change in potential energy first let's calculate with force multiplied by displacement force multiplied by displacement in the direction of force force here this is the displacement here this is the force and this is displacement here is the force and this is displacement then how can we calculate it answer is we calculate the force on the total surface how do we calculate force on the total surface we relate it to the pressure the pressure multiplied by area gives us the force if there is a balloon there is a pressure inside then multiply that pressure with the total area that gives the total force on the surface so this force we can write as pressure multiplied by area multiplied by displacement 
this is equal to pressure P inside multiplied by area 4 pi r square multiplied by displacement dr. This is the work done. Okay. Now, this is the pressure inside. This pressure is not the absolute pressure. This is difference of the pressure. Means if here pressure is P1, here pressure is P2. Then what is P? P is difference of this two pressure, what we studied as gauge pressure. Here we will use the term, we will use this name, P is excess pressure, excess over atmosphere, this, okay. Now again we calculate work done with the formula of surface tension. How much is the energy? Energy is surface energy change. How much work is done? Whatever is the change in surface energy and this is how we can find it. What is the formula for surface energy? Area into surface tension. Area after extension minus area before extension multiplied by surface tension. This is energy after extension. This is energy before extension and this gives the change in energy and change in energy is work done. Okay. So, this is equal to how much this area after this is 4 pi r plus dr square minus 4 pi r square and the whole thing is to be multiplied with surface tension this okay let's simplify this this is 4 pi 4 pi common let's take it out 4 pi s common here r square plus 2 r dr plus dr square minus r square is cancelled. So, what do we have here? 2 r dr plus dr square. I do not write it because dr square being very small is neglected. So, addition to 2 r dr by dr square does not make any difference. We neglect it. This is the work done. This is the work done. But there is only one action. So work done should be same. So we can write equal between the two. And writing equal between the two. That gives us the equation. And that equation is C. It comes to P 4 pi r square dr is equal to 4 pi s into 2 r dr. Let's cancel dr is cancelled. 1 r is cancelled. 4 pi is cancelled. So what do we get here? P is equal to that is excess pressure. Pressure that is excess pressure is equal to S2, 2S upon 1R. So this is not 0. That means there is excess pressure here. And this excess pressure depends upon the two quantity. How much is the surface tension? The force between the molecules. And how small is the radius? Smaller is the radius, more curvature means more is the pressure. So, a smaller drop and a larger drop in which the pressure difference is more, in which the excess pressure is more. Answer, for a smaller drop, excess pressure is more. So, inside always pressure is larger than outside. So, this is 
excess pressure in a drop. Please remember this. The same way we can calculate excess pressure inside a bubble. Inside bubble. Now, what is the difference between a drop and a bubble? A drop has got one surface, one interface because inside it is liquid, outside it is air, there is one interface, one surface. This one surface has created, the molecules of one surface has created excess pressure, 2s upon r. And now you see the bubble. This is bubble, inside is air, then there is liquid and then there is air. This is one interface, air to liquid. This is another interface, air to liquid. So there are two surfaces. So if one surface molecules try to shrink and create excess pressure equal to 2s upon r, then two surfaces together will create how much pressure? Double of this. So you do the same thing, but here you will make double of this, multiply by 2. This will be multiplied by 2. So excess pressure in the case of bubble will be 4s upon r. So in which case the pressure is more bubble or drop? Answer in case of bubble the excess pressure is more inside and that is equal to 4s upon r. In case of drop it is 2s upon r. Okay, so please remember towards the concave surface, towards the concave surface, pressure is always large. Come here. Where the pressure is large? Here. In this case, here is the pressure more compared to this. Always this is trying to shrink this way. This is trying to shrink this way. This is always trying to shrink. How it will become after shrinking? After shrinking, this will try to become like this. This small. So this trying, this liquid is trying to go up. Here, this liquid, if this has to shrink, if this has to become less, it will become like this. So it is trying to come down. It is trying to go up. And that we will explain in the next lecture of capillarity. Okay, so this is about the excess pressure in drop and in bubble. Thank you.